seems like Amy Kaufman, the woman that's responsible for taking down all my favorite comedians, is potentially turning into the West Coast version of Seth Simons. I think every LA comedian, every um, LA improv comedian, stand up, whatever you are, you have to be very, very worried, very, very afraid. Amy Kaufman might be coming after you next because she's literally reporting on every single development that has to ascertain to the whole Chris D'Elia, Brian Callen, Brendan Shaw, Tifa K, sexual misconduct, allegation, allegations, blah, 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 blah. She's basically reporting on anything blow by blow. And she's really painting it in a pretty negative light, it seems like, for the most part. So if you're a comedian in, in LA uh, and you haven't decided where you want to move uh, with everybody leaving LA, you probably might want to move to to Houston or to Texas with Joe or to anywhere else that happens to be outside of the California state because this woman is coming for all of your jobs and she doesn't give a Scooby shit. So this is one of, this is a story here from Los Angeles Times. It says after allegations, Brian Callen asks fans to pay for a new podcast on Patreon, which is so inflammatory. He didn't say that. He didn't ask them to pay for anything. Um, you need to, if you want to support, you want to support this. It just makes it seems as if like, you know, he is a, uh, what you call it? They're, they're painting him out to be a bit of a jerk which he obviously isn't right um he has it's not his fault that he can't speak in his own podcast platform because you decided to publish stories um alleged that he raped somebody you know in the 80s or 90s uh, without having without giving him his time to kind of you know defend himself in court again you know the, the culture we live in at the moment an, an accusation is is as you know is as bad as a guilty verdict and now he's in a position where his sponsors of his main podcast the fire and the kid probably don't want him anywhere near that podcast so he has to now <coughs> sorry he has to now do a show behind a paywall in order to kind of speak to his fan or speak to his truth <coughs> which is pretty unfair to be honest isn't it if you consider it what's going on especially if, especially if you're innocent if you're guilty whatever even if you're not guilty you should be given the chance to just speak your piece right in public you shouldn't be ousted or dismissed from the public forum again he's got his twitter and instagram i know but you know so Amy Amy Kaufman reports here after recently announced announcing that he will take a leave of absence for his podcast. Brian Callen is getting back behind the microphone. <coughs> Bloody old, this woman! On Wednesday, Callen said he would return on to he return to Patreon, the crowdfunded membership platform, so he could continue podcasting. The comedian made an announcement in a since deleted video post on Twitter account for the Tiffany and the Kid podcast. He co-hosted with former UFC heavyweight Brendan Shaw. On July 31st, the Times published this accounts of four women who alleged that the Goldberg actor has sexually inappropriate with them. Callan categorically denied all allegations, which included rape, assault, and disturbing comments. But he said later that he would obviously temporarily distance himself from the fire and the kid, <coughs> which I thought was really admirable, personally. <coughs> he took the decision to do that, to kind of shave, save their main cash cow, especially during these turbulent times. That was really good of him. Um, despite that proclamation, Callan vowed not to stay out of public eye. Uh, he said, you know, when you're in a situation like this, you get a lot of advice. Da -da -da. We heard that one before. And she says, oh, she says, the fire in the kid has continued to release new episodes with Shaw posting alongside his guest host. Shaw, who began working in the comedy after his youth career, told listeners that he would stick by his long-term friend, even though Callan requested not to go hard in the paint for him. He said, he said, apparently, if I say what I want to say, it's going to get kind of in more trouble. We definitely agree with that one. It says here, Cast Media, does not, which does not produce the fire and the kid, but represents his partner show, had a different stance. Really? So, so yeah, Cast takes her allegations against hosts very seriously. The company's chief executive, Colin Thompson, said in the email, Brian Cannon is long associated with Cast representation of fire and the kid. So, which is interesting, right? They spoke a big game about being independent and owning their thing, but essentially... This parent company, Cast Media, is 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 the is the people that basically told Callan he can't be on Fire and the Kid anymore, which is annoying. I think. Um, again, it's interesting how these, how they talk a big game, right, about being independent and doing their own thing on the on a podcast and not being beholden by the industry um, and not being dictated by the industry and having to go to auditions, all this sort of stuff, right? But then the moment they get into some trouble, because they signed a deal, which I'm assuming is beneficial for them monetarily, right? Cast probably, you know, handle the partnerships and sponsorships and maybe give them a bit of money a month or whatever it may be so they can have them as part of their roster so they can attract other clients, blah, 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 blah. They kind of act as like managers for the show. But the issue is that they could also call the shots, right? Because they could stipulate that, hey, our sponsors that we got you on board that are paying you X amount of money a month are going to pull out if you don't get this guy off the show. And it's easy decisions to make, I guess. So as 
commendable as it was for Brian to suggest that he kind of decided to pull away from the show. Um, I don't think he was ever going to get back on anyway, especially with the allegations in, um, um, up in the air still. Uh, it says here, Cass takes the allegations seriously. Da, da, da. It says, furthermore, Tom, Thompson said, Cass has no association with Brian Callan's activity on the Patreon or elsewhere, and it's not aware of any plans for Callan to ever return to find a kid. Jesus Christ. So I guess they're saying, uh, un unless Callan gets a completely non-guilty verdict and it comes out that this entire story was fabricated and somehow, you know, um, I don't know, the women lied and tricked amy into believing his story was true or she purposely spun it in a way to make it believable which she should be in trouble for if this is the case it seems like you know you're never going to hear Karen on fighting the kid anymore it seems like by this article i'm not sure if that's true i think if he if it, if it does get proved to be a false story i'm pretty sure they will probably welcome him back with open arms because there's only so much of josh wolf and brendan Shaw. but i'm sure most fighting the kid fans will be able to stomach even though i'm a big fan of josh i think you know the, you know, it's the fire and the kid, isn't it, right? You you want to see Callan on there. It says, it continues, it says, Callan and Shaw, new show. The first episode, which will drop on Friday, will be called The Fire and the Rinks. Callan recently got an eyelid surgery. It's jokingly known to his fans as Rinks because of this age. In a teaser for the podcast, the show alleged already had its own theme song, including the lyrics, The Fire and the Kid, Back Up in the Ring, Eyelids Are Heavy, One Can Barely Think. Blink, sorry. As of Thursday afternoon, the new project, which cost a $5 a month on Patreon, has... 846 patrons that's mad isn't it well done to them for that one Karen is not the first disgraced comedian to ask fans to pay for his content Jesus Christ in April Lucy came to special 7.99 he also continued to tour before COVID-19 pandemic so like I said man I think if you're a comedian in LA you should be very worried about this woman Amy Kaufman I think she's really out she's really out to get everybody um or the scene in general and again i'm not sure sure what the main goal is are they are they looking to take down joe rogan is it just them is it just the whole bevy because i remember reading somewhere that someone told me or someone said or someone i read somewhere that she was a stand-up comic herself so she might have a bit of an axe grind because she was basically feels like she was mistreated in the scene or in the industry so this might be part of the reason why she's going so hard in the paint at these guys but regardless i think if you're a comedian in la you really need to watch your p's and q's you really need to kind of have your head in the swivel and make sure that you you know treat women decently i guess if you're gonna go out and try and lay pipe as you're going around touring around the country because this lady is definitely sniffing out stories and trying to get people uh careers completely ruined for some so some legitimate reasons and maybe some, some not legitimate reasons but we wait to see how this transpires